Hi everyone, I'm back for another face of the day where I'm going to tell you how I achieved this look. So this look is inspired by another color that I got from Luxie Beauty and the colors in Malibu. Now you can't probably see that, it's kind of small, but this is the color. slipped out of my hand. <laughs> so this is the color and it's um, like a duochrome type color. It's got um, like a icy blue, golden type of finish. It's metallic and so this is the color that I have right on the inner third of my eyelid. So this is what I wanted to use and so this is what I came up with. I also have it in the inner corner. So I'll just go ahead and tell you what I have on the eyes first this time. So I first started with the brows and I filled in my brows with this liner from NYX. And it's in the color brown. And then I went over that with the powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills one of their dual duo brow powders and it's in the color chocolate so I used the lighter and so I got the brows and then for the highlight, I used a lot of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. So I started out with this color. And it's in Crystalline Gray Beige. And the number is D552. So I applied that under the brow and then to blend in the highlight I used this color. It's in Mustard and it is M408. Then in the transition I used this color in Auburn and it's M738. Then towards the crease I use this color and this is red brown and it's M608. So then I took a base and I think I might have put it up but it's um, a Rimmel Scandalize color pencil crayon and so I went over the whole lid with that. It's in Blamed Blue. I've shown it in plenty of my tutorials but I used that as a base and then I applied the Malibu color on the inner and in the middle of the lid I used this Makeup Forever shadow it's in Lagoon Blue and it's D236 and then also in the crease I use this color in blue cedar and it's I-238 so I have that like as a blending color in the crease and then on the outer V to deepen the outer V I use this color in petrol blue and it's S-228 then on the lower lash line I first lined it with this NYX pencil and Gypsy Blue, which is my favorite. So I lined the lower lash line with that first. Then I went over the from outer to almost the inner. <laughs> I stopped right here. And I used the Petrol Blue to set the liner. And then Right in the tear duct, I used this NYX pencil, 
and it's in seafoam green. Right in the inner tear duct, and then I went over it with the Malibu again. So that's pretty much how I got the eye look. I have these velour lashes. These lashes that I've gotten from velour are the lashes from Sephora. So I'm going to show you a picture of these. And so those are the lashes. Now for the lips, I used two items. I used this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. And it's at the color, find that, Soft Spoken. So I applied that to the lips first and then I applied a little bit of this color from House of Beauty and Catherine. And I just applied a little bit of that to make it a little more glossy. This is what Catherine looks like. So they're close. I'd say Catherine is just a little lighter than Bespoken. For is this a be spoken? No, soft spoken. <laughs> so it's a little lighter than soft spoken, but it's they kind of blend together. So that's how I got the look, lip. And then for cheeks, I'm using a blush from La Femme in terracotta, which is this color. And for highlight and also setting my concealer is, um, well, concealer is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande. So then I set it with my Hourglass Radiant Light. So that's my go-to routine now. I use it to set it because it just looks so pretty like it's a glow from within that I've always been in search for with these highlights. So um, I applied that on under the, you know, the normal spots under the, uh, on the high cheekbone and chin, tip of the nose and forehead, right in the middle. And then for foundation, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. And this is in 28 Clove. And uh, finishing spray, I use the Pixie Petra Glow Mist. To set the foundation, I'm using Black Radiance Milk Chocolate. This is the Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And for contour, I'm using two things. Um, uh, this is a custom palette that I made from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And uh, these are the highlight contour colors I picked out. So to contour, I used Carob. And I also used my Becca foundation to contour the cheeks. And this is the color right there. And that is pretty much the look. So I hope you like this look. And I hope this look will inspire you to create something of your own. I have pictures coming up next. And thanks for watching. Bye.